Now, you work, but you, your wife is a stay-at-home mom, mother? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. she she does she does a little bit of work um here uh-huh. and there, you know, she'll she'll right. clean an office, but mostly most of the time she uh she stays at home, she's just with the kids. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, good, good. So how do you what's your strategy? I'm sure a, a lot of fathers are gonna want to hear this who are really involved with their children, wanna be home with their children, <laughs> wanna wanna engage with their children, but what's your strategy for balancing being a man, a husband, and a father? Ooh, that's, that's one of them, you know, um, I mean, honestly, it is hard to balance, uh, you know, being a man and, and being a husband with also, you know, being a father, it's, it's really hard to balance. You got to use the time that you got. Um, you know, if you're home on Saturdays and Sundays, you know, I've got the weekends off. So whenever you're off, you know, if they got, they got nap time, uh-huh. you know, um, you know, use that time. Um, after they go to bed, you got time. Really, it's, you know, there's when they're as young as they are right now, um, they're two and three, you know, you, you really don't have much balance in your life. It's, it's really, it's a, it's a very much focused on them. And I mean, that's something that you got to know. And it's, it's a season in your life. It's, it's going to change as they become more independent and as they learn different things, um, and can, you know, do more stuff on their own. But right now they're, pretty much fully dependent upon their parents. Um, they're fully dependent upon me and Courtney. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta spend a lot of our time with them and, uh, you know, when they, when they do stuff and they're playing, you know, I use that time to, you know, I'll clean up some stuff around the house and, you know, I'll I'll use that time to, you know, be a husband to the best of my abilities. And, you know, but it's, it's ultimately there's not too much balance during the season of their life. So basically, you know, and it's, it's, it, it just is what it is. I mean, (laughs) <laughs> so, so, so you make sure you make so I, I believe what you're saying is that you make sure you get the time in where the time needs to be gotten if I could say it that way huh whatever you need to be put in you make sure yeah, you get yeah, the time in so, so yeah and we do have um like go ahead, my, go ahead. yeah my, my in-laws they live close and they, they've been of help I mean every now and then they'll they'll give us a night where they'll they'll take the kids and okay. you know and they'll they'll sleep over their house and so we get one or two of them over there all three mm-hmm. you know like you know right. usually it's one of them just one or all three of them will go and okay. uh, so they'll spend time over there um, or you know they'll take them so we can go out on a date but okay. I mean at the end of the day a lot of it is you know you're finding time where you can right. find time and right. uh, you right. know it's you got to do what you do you know so- so, you know, you know, one of the things as far as that being a man that we have to guard against is that, and, and you correct me if, I, if you feel differently about this, but we, we, we have to be careful not to be selfish with our time. Yeah. Am I right? <clears throat> you agree? <clears throat> yes. Have to be very, because, you know, we'll feel like, well, look, this is me. I'm a man. This is what I have to do. And I want to do this for me. You know, yeah. I, I get with you when I get back. Well, listen, you here with the children. Why, why you can't handle that? You know, I, I got to yeah. work. I got to pay the bills. Now I got, so I'm going to go out. I got to go to work. I'm bringing in the money and everything. Now you want me to sit here and babysit and change diapers and feed and feed the baby and all this. Well, what you been doing all day? That about sound about right, huh? I had the mindset of some folks, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. You can go. Yeah. There. And it's definitely, it's definitely, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, crosses every now and then and people are, you know, what that you interact with at work, they're going to tell you the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you go out and you make the money, like, why isn't, you know, like, but at the end of the day, you know, she works just as hard as you do wow. while you're at work. Good. And not only that, Good. but I've been home with these kids um, by myself where she's been out um, doing other stuff, you know, cause right. she's had to help other people and different things. And right. they're probably harder work than what I do all day long. I'm telling you, <laughs> these children are a lot harder work. It's not just a walk in the park sitting here at home. And I mean, <laughs> it is a lot more stressful. That's for sure. Wow. Than what hey, I do. Um, so true. at the end of the day, um, you know, you're there to help each other. Right. You're there to do this together and you mm-hmm. can't just check out and go and do what you want to do. You know, I'm there to, you know, it's either me or her cooking dinner. You know, it's, you know, we don't specifically say, you know, I'm tonight or you're tomorrow. We don't do that, but you know, whoever we just, you know, whatever. And we just will make dinner and the kids will be fed and, 
you know, we just, we do things together. You know, it's, it's not, it's not a, you do this and I do that. You know, right. there are a few things that she doesn't like to do particularly. Right. Um, right. And one of the, you know, one of the things of, you know, doing it on the single income that we had to come to a discussion about was something like cloth diapers. Uh-huh. I mean, all my children were in diapers at the same time. So right. it's about, you know, maybe $70 a month for a child. Yeah. For a diaper, you know, for, wow. for the diapers for the yeah. month and yeah. you got three kids. So that's $180 a month. Wow. I didn't have that wow. to spend. Wow. So wow. we had to go towards um, looking at cloth diapers. Uh-huh. And, you know, I came to the conclusion that it was either get a part time job, mm-hmm. you know, which means I had to do, you know, maybe 16 hours or so at minimum. Um, you know, they want more than that, but the very minimum to get a job, they're going to want you, you know, 16 hours, which is, you know, Mm -hmm. four hours, four Mm -hmm. nights a week. So I had to either get myself a part-time job to pay for those diapers, or I had to spend a few minutes each night washing out the cloth diapers. And I just found it a better option, even though it's a, not exactly the best work in the world to do that. And, you know, that's, that's, that's a strategy that you can use to, to do it on a single income. You know, when you, you don't have to go out and be away from your family more than you need to, but you can, you know, you spend a few minutes at night cleaning out diapers and that gives you four hours of your time back plus, you know, drive time here and there, um, you know, that you don't have to pay for diapers and, you know, so it's, you know, you just got to do what you do, you know. Thank you for watching the father's note. Please like comment and share as we continue to promote fathers through building men.